I have somebody that needs to be called out. His name is Mason Jones. You want to know something, you little fucking bitch? Yeah, you're right. I may not have, like, actually raced raced, but you know what? I don't fucking need to. And let me tell you something right now, dude. Whether it's real life or in game, man, racing is fucking racing, period. So you want to fucking run your mouth about me, Mason? Like I said, once you've reached my level of in-game racing, bro, then come and talk to me, dude. Yeah, you're right. I may not have fucking actually raced in real life, but dude, whether it's in-game or real life, it's all the fucking same. Can I tell you something? I'm not rich. I can't afford that shit. As much as I wish I could... I'm not rich, so I can't afford to do professional racing like you're fucking doing. So what if you're actually doing it, like outside of gaming? But all the same, we are all drivers in the same fucking boat, man. And what I told you about my brother earlier is fucking true. If it wasn't for him... If it wasn't for my older brother who passed away two years ago, and it wasn't for my brothers Ethan and Ricardo, I wouldn't be the fucking gaming style racer that I am right now. Because of those three, I became one of the world's best. And that quote that I posted up is fucking true, man. And I ain't just saying it. It's fucking true, man. If you race without a cause and you race with no fucking purpose, you're doomed to fail. Because you let your fucking pride and your fucking ego get in your goddamn way. Whereas for me, I don't let my pride and ego get in the way. I put everybody else above me. I put everyone else before me. Alright? My older brother, my friends, my family, those are the reasons I fucking race. Yeah, it might not be in real life like you think it should be, but all the same, man. We're all drivers in the same fucking boat at the end of the day. And you wonder why I won't race you? It ain't that I'm scared of you. It ain't that I, that I ain't afraid to kick your ass or to lose. I ain't afraid of either one. No, I ain't afraid to face anybody, nigga. I don't know who the fuck you think you are, dude. Like I said, I ain't afraid of nobody or nothing. I ain't afraid of shit, but I refuse to race somebody like you or your fucking brother who has no goddamn purpose. And you want to say I'm slow, bro? Like I said, throw down on the fucking track. And like I said, you want to race me? Come to me with a fucking reason and a purpose. And stop running your fucking mouth like a little bitch. Because that's all you are, dude, is a shit talker. I don't race shit talkers. I race people with real fucking reasons. Like I said, I might not be able to race in real life like you think I should be able to. But ask me if I give two fucks, little boy. Ask me if I give two fucks. Because you know what? You let your pride and your fucking ego get in your goddamn way. And that's your issue. That's why you're doomed to fail as a fucking racer. Because you let your goddamn pride and your fucking ego cloud your fucking judgment, dude. You need to put that fucking ego aside and swallow your fucking pride for two fucking seconds. And realize that some of us ain't fucking rich like your little pussy ass. You ain't nothing but a fucking pansy ass wannabe racer, dude. That's all you fucking are. So go ahead and run your fucking mouth, Mason. All you fucking want. At the end of the day, I'm still a hell of a better driver than you will ever fucking be. Alright, I'll tell you what, dude. Soon as I get my shit set up, because my family's not doing shit, 
and I am unable to touch the shit right now. But I tell you what, as soon as they get back and I get the shit set up, send me your fucking gamer tag, boy, and I'll end your ass. I'll fucking smoke you. And I'll put your ass away for good. There's a reason I'm called the fucking Speed Demon. There's a reason why I joined one of the best teams on the fucking planet, the Extreme Speeds, boy. One of the best fucking gaming teams in the world. Especially for racing style gaming. There's a reason why I'm the number two driver on the team. Because I've proved that I'm the best. I've proved that I can handle faster cars than most. Because I've busted my ass to get to where I'm at. And I don't want my fucking pride or my goddamn ego get in the fucking way. And that's your issue, bro. You let the fucking in. You let your shit get in the way. If you would swallow your fucking pride and let go of that fucking huge ass ego, maybe then you'd be worth fucking racing. But honestly, you ain't nothing but another driver that I'm going to pass up and blow. So like I said, you want to fucking get your ass kicked by me? Hey, as soon as I get back and I get my shit set up, man, we'll throw down. I have no issue putting a little fucking pompous ass windbag prick like you in your fucking place. See, that's the problem with motherfuckers like you. You let your pride and your ego take hold of you and you let it consume you. You don't realize that there are some of us who aren't fucking rich who still do what they do and make a living off of what they love to do. You fail to realize that some people like myself actually race for a fucking reason. Okay? I race to keep my family's legacy alive. I race to keep my brother's legacy alive that he left for me. All right? So I have a very big fucking reason to keep on doing what I do. But you, however, have no reason to be behind the fucking wheel with that fucking ego of yours. You need to drop the attitude, drop the fucking ego, and swallow your fucking pride. And realize that not everybody's going to be like you, bruh. You need to humble the fuck up. You need to shut your mouth. And let your car do the talking for you, son. Like I said, little bitch, run your car, not your fucking mouth. But yet, here you are running your mouth like a fucking pussy ass pansy bitch, thinking that he's better than everyone. Bruh, you ain't better than me, you ain't better than anybody. You're just another fucking scumbag wannabe driver. That's all you are. Like I said, I may not race in real life, but I race in-game. And all the same, dude, we're all drivers at the end of the day. Whether in-game or real life. We're all racers. Yeah, I may not be rich and be able to do shit like you do. And I'm sorry I'm not rich like that. I'm sorry I grew up poor. All right, that ain't my fault. I'm sorry that I'm only able to do the next best thing to real style racing. But you know what? It's better than nothing at all. You need to swallow your fucking goddamn pride, take that ego, shove it up your fucking ass, and go on somewhere. Because you know what? Little punk motherfuckers like you are the guys that I drive past every fucking day and I leave in the goddamn dust. They think they're the best and then I blow right by them and then they shut their fucking mouths. So you ain't gonna be any fucking different than them. You're just another fucking wannabe racer with no respect and no pride. Oh wait, I'm sorry, you do have pride, but it overclouds your fucking judgment. You need to swallow that pride and let go of your fucking ego, dude. Like I said, I may not be able to race in real life, but at least I'm still able to race and do the next best thing.
Yo, Julian Solano, what's up, brother? Hey, yo, Julian, drop your gamer tag, bro, because as soon as my mom and everybody gets back from their doctor's appointment and shit and setting up, I'll be getting on Xbox. Yeah, I just got one, man. So send me your gamer tag or post them in the comments, and I'll add you as soon as I get on. Actually, no, I've not done just bots, bruh. I've done real life motherfuckers, man. Real Racing 3. Get on that shit, nigga. Get on Real Racing 3. Multiplayer mode. Live. Online. I don't race bots. I race real people in real fucking time. And if you don't believe me, check my fucking stats, homie. That's my brother Julian Solano right there. He's seen what I can do. Everybody that knows me has seen what I can do. So you want to keep on running your mouth, you little bitch. You're going to get put in your fucking place. And actually, yeah, it does count, dude. Multiplayer mode, online, real people. Dude, are you fucking dense or what, man? Because like I said, man. To you, real like real life racing might count for you, but for me, I can't afford real actual racing. So I do the next best thing. Like I said, man, you ain't shit to me. You ain't nothing but another fucking wannabe with no respect at all. Like you don't respect me. You don't respect what I stand for. So why the fuck should I even race you? You're a racer without a cause. You are a racer with no fucking purpose. All you drive for is to, you know, fuck with people and prove that you're supposedly the best. That's not a fucking reason. You're doomed to fail. While I'm over here making a name for myself succeeding, what the fuck are you doing except running your goddamn mouth like a little pansy ass wannabe while I'm up at night every fucking night practicing my goddamn ass off 24 7 where the fuck are you at I don't see you on Osaludo racing I don't see you on real racing 3 I don't see you fucking competing in every goddamn tournament for live events so you want to talk about not counting your fucking mouth and your shit talking is what don't count, dude. Like I said, man, run your mouth all you want. But I stand behind the quote that I said earlier. And I stand behind what I said. If you race without a cause or you race without a reason and a real cause and a real reason, not some shitty one, you're doomed to fail. And that's the fucking truth. Ask any real racer and they'll tell you the same goddamn thing. Ask any real fucking driver with respect. If you race without reason or you race without cause, you're doomed to fail. And you're never going to be as successful as somebody with a reason and a cause. Because you're going to become too self-centered. Your pride's going to eat you alive. And you're honestly, you're going to end up one lonely motherfucker at the end of the day. Because you're going to end up pushing away all those that you care about. You're going to end up pushing away your friends, your family, everyone. And that will happen. It might not be today. It might not be a year from now. But eventually that is going to happen. And that's your problem right there. You act like you're better than me. You act like you're better than everyone. You're not better than everyone. We're all on the same fucking page, my dude. You need to learn that. You need to learn to swallow your pride, let go of your fucking ego, and start respecting people. Instead of fucking jumping on live streams like this, running your mouth like a fucking pansy-ass bitch. Because like I said, man, run your car, not your fucking mouth. I'm tired of motherfuckers like you talking shit all the fucking time just because I can't afford a real car 
and go actual racing. I'm sorry I'm a poor motherfucker. All right, I'm sorry I ain't got that kind of money for a fucking car. But you know what? I'd rather do the next best thing for the rest of my life and make a name off of that rather than not have a reason to race at all. Unlike you, I have a very real reason to race. I have a very real legacy that I'm upholding for my older brother. Unlike you, I have pride. I have respect. And if you wouldn't come off and popping off and taking shots at me and running your fucking mouth, I might even respect you. But how can I respect a little pansy ass wannabe running his fucking mouth when he knows nothing? Whether you're faster or not, I give no fucks. What I give a fuck about is racing. What I give a fuck about is upholding my brother's legacy that he left behind for me. And if you think that's not real, you need to take a long, hard-ass fucking look again, bruh. Because like I said, you are nothing to me. And if you think I'm scared to race you, I'm not. But I refuse to race somebody that doesn't have a reason or doesn't have a cause. I don't get me wrong. I will race people, you know, like that. But I refuse to race somebody like you who fucking runs his goddamn mouth. Who wants to sit there and talk shit and take shots at my family like you did earlier. I refuse. So like I said, man. Once you find a real reason and a real cause to race for, until you've been in my position where you've lost the one person that you give a fuck about that got you into racing, once you lose that one fucking person that meant the world to you, maybe then you'll understand. But yeah, here you are running your mouth like a little bitch. And that's all you're doing is you're running your mouth trying to get under my skin. And that part don't phase me about you talking shit. That don't phase me. But when you attack my family like you did earlier, that's what set me off, bro. You are nothing to me. You are not even on my fucking level, dude. Mentally, you're a child. You don't have the wisdom of a real fucking driver. You're doomed, man. And I'm not going to be there to save you. You race without a purpose or without a cause. You haven't found your reason yet. You've not found a very good reason to drive. And until you find that, you are not worthy of racing me or anyone that I know of. And I say you're not worthy because you refuse to let go of your pride or your ego. You refuse to let go of that. And that's what makes a good driver. Is swallowing your pride, letting go of your ego, and treating everyone with the same respect that you should be showing yourself. But it's obvious by the way that you know you don't respect me. It's obvious to me that you don't respect yourself. You don't respect the racing community as a whole. You don't respect anyone else in it. You're just out to say, oh, I'm faster than you. I can do this. I can do that. My brother's a real racer and this and that. So fucking what? Nobody gives a fuck about what your brother can or can't do. Nobody gives a fuck about what you can or can't do. Nobody gives two fucks. What we give a fuck about, those of us who have made a name for ourselves in the car community and have gained everyone's respect from, 
We care about two things, our cars and our driving. That's all we care about. We do it for the love of the sport. We do it to uphold legacies. And yet people like you come along and fucking try to ruin it. And that ain't happening with me, bro. You ain't getting me to race you. You want to race somebody? Go find somebody else that's stupid enough. Because I can tell you one thing. I have more respect for myself than the race of no talent having scumbag like you with no fucking respect. So I say this to you. You can take that bullshit fucking ego and your fucking pride and go fuck yourself and shove it up your goddamn ass. Because I ain't having it. You want to race me? Then prove to me that you have what it takes. Show me videos. Show me something. Because until then, I'm not racing you. Because you don't have the mental worth of a real driver. I, however, do. Because it's a lesson, it's a bunch of lessons that I learned over time. I used to be like you, yeah. I used to have pride. I used to have ego. I used to be the same way you are now. But let me tell you something. When I found that one driver that was faster than me and he blew right by me and proved me wrong, that's when I started to humble up. That's when I started to realize that, hey, I need to start racing for a reason. I need to start finding why I race. And when I found my reason, which is my older brother, once I found that reason, then I started becoming a better driver. I started opening up my mind. Once I let go of my pride and my ego, once I let all that go, I started opening up my mind. I started learning. I started training, practicing, doing everything I had to fucking do to get to where I'm at. Unlike you, I'm not stuck in a fucking loop of retardedness all goddamn day like you. Unless you have an open, mm, sorry. unless you have an open mind, and you drop your pride in your ego, you're not gonna get anywhere very fast. Nobody's gonna want to fucking take you on and sponsor you. Because of your fucking ego trip. You're on this fucking massive ego trip that doesn't know when to fucking stop. It's all about your attitude. Okay? Racing isn't just racing. It's a way of life for some of us. For people like me, it's a way of life. It's what we eat, sleep, and breathe every day. When I'm not working on my music, bro... I'm fucking behind that goddamn wheel on Real Racing 3 or on Also Little Racing with my fucking team practicing my ass off. So you want to talk about me not being fast? Well, you don't know who the fuck you're stepping to. You want to talk about me not having respect? I've got respect. But what do you got? Nothing but a fucking mouth that doesn't know when to shut the fuck up. If you wouldn't have taken shots at my brother like you did earlier, man, saying that that's not a reason, that that's fake, that that's stupid, that's where you cross the major line. Because when you rip on my family, especially my older brother, the one responsible for me doing what I do, then we have fucking issues. You're a doomed driver, man. Just fucking face it. And unless you let go of your pride or your ego and you start opening up your fucking mind and being more open-minded, then you're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere fast. You're going to be stuck at the fucking starting line while I'm down at the fucking finish line Making a name for myself.
So I'm sorry, Mason, but I will not race you. No matter what you say, no matter what you do, I will not race you because you are not worth my fucking time or my effort. You have no reason to be racing. Honestly, with your attitude, you don't you don't even fucking belong behind the damn wheel. You don't even belong on the fucking track. Because you let your pride and your ego cloud your judgment. And you judge others when you know nothing about them. You think you know me, but you know nothing about me. You don't know what I've done. You don't know where I've been. You don't know the hell that I went through to get to where I'm at. So I can continuously run your mouth about me all you want. Say whatever you want about me. It does not faze me. One bit. But when you talk shit about my brother like you did, that's when you fucking set me off. We could have been friends. Yeah, we could have been friends, dude. We really could have. I could have showed you shit to make you an even better driver. I could have helped you get somewhere. But instead, you turned tail and bashed on my older brother, who, by the way, has now passed away and has been for three years. Once you did that, you made an enemy of me. We're not rivals. We're not friends. We're nothing. You are my fucking enemy. So I'm pretty sure you can guess where your fucking punk ass is going to go. And anybody who knows me knows where your ass is going to land. So, guess what, dude? I hope you have fun on my block list because guess what? I ain't racing you. You're not worth my fucking time or my effort. I have real people to actually face once I get my shit set up. I have people that are worth racing. You are not worth a fucking single breath of air. Besides that, you would just be a waste of a car anyway. I'm not going to waste my fucking nitrous on someone like you. I'm not going to waste my gas on someone like you. I'm not doing it. So, like I said, man, I hope you have fun on my block list because guess what? After this live stream, that's where your punk ass is going to end up. Because you have no respect for me. You have no respect for yourself. And you're just shit talking. And that's where all shit talkers like you get put is on fucking block. And don't think I'm not going to let my brothers and those within the car community know about what you're doing. Because I am going to let them know. I am going to put you on blast because you put me on blast when you attacked me. So like I said, dude, you're a failure of a driver. You don't belong in the racing community, man. You really don't. You think you do, but you don't. Because you have no respect for anyone. At all. And as for the rest of you guys, I do apologize that y'all had to see me going off on this little wannabe like this. But this guy literally attacked me in my last live stream and even attacked me on my quote that I posted up earlier. So, you know, I have a very real reason to block this guy and... You guys see what he's doing. I ain't got to say it. Much love to every single one of you guys. Fucking love y'all. Y'all are amazing. Except for you, Mason. You ain't nothing but a pansy-ass little bitch. As for the rest of y'all, I'll catch you guys later. And Mason, I'll see your ass <laughs> never again. So, peace, y'all. 
And for those of you that I am going to be adding on to Xbox, I'll see you guys on the track and on Xbox, period. So catch you guys in just a little bit, man. Peace.